But the problem you have in this enterprise space is it's not like some fintech's going to come along like Venmo and just build an app on Plaid and then you're going to download it from the app store and then be able to you know access all your banks through Venmo. In the sort of enterprise world, it's incredibly different. If you take an API spec to the treasurer of a Fortune 500 company, they're just going to say, what is this? And the spec is not you know, in your sort of consumer world, it's, you know, a few lines of data and messaging. The needs of a Fortune 500 company, which is 100x that, it's just really orders of magnitude more. So you sort of had the banks building out these great offerings, taking them to their customers, and the treasurer is sort of saying, what is this 200 page word spec? There's no solution for this whatsoever. And all the banks have different specs. So this was the first sort of trend and a major opportunity we saw, which was, well, if you can sort of aggregate these banks globally and the services that they're building, you can sort of do something that Plaid has done on a consumer basis in the US. What were you doing prior to Finlink to understand that this is a problem that needs to be solved and that you can solve it? It wasn't just me, for sure. So my background is actually starting my career as a treasury trader, which was my first sort of foray into treasury. 